welcome back to the channel. It's a girl, Lissy. Today, guys, I'm finally back in my spooky lounge. And that's because we're going to be talking about some tea, guys. The tea is hot as usual. Today, we're going to be talking about more deadly banned candies that can potentially kill you. Isn't it crazy to think about how our favorite candies could literally kill us? Daily thoughts with Lissy. And I love sugar. Don't get me wrong. I love candy. Big candy enjoyer. Big sweets enjoyer, which is one of my guilty pleasures. But maybe today's video will help us forget about our sweet tooth. Also, if you guys are new here, hi, I'm Lissy. I post videos about the weird, the strange, the unusual, and the haunted. If you guys are into that stuff, be sure to subscribe and join the family. We're trying to get to 4 million subscribers. And smash like if you guys are excited. And comment down below, what is your favorite candy of all time? My favorite candy of all time, for some reason, would be the blue Airheads or Reese's Pieces. And also, guys, I do want to apologize for the lack of paranormal content on my channel lately. I will say, for those of you guys who have been wanting more of that, I have some more stuff planned the next week. So stay tuned for that. I definitely want to do more haunted and creepy videos for you guys and more stuff in my spooky lounge Because I know you guys have been missing that I've just been having a lot of fun reacting lately But I definitely want to do more stories and scary stuff So comment down below What do you guys want to see on this channel because I don't want to lose you guys and I feel like lately I've been like a little boring so I do want to apologize for that I've just been working on a lot for you guys So yeah, I just felt like I owed you guys like a little sorry and that I'm trying my best and I have some really cool stuff coming up But let's just get into talking about these deadly banned candies that can potentially kill us. So the first deadly banned candy that we're going to be talking about is the Nestle Magic Ball. So very similar to the Kinder Egg, which we're going to be covering later in today's video, Nestle Magic Ball was a well-liked confection from times gone by and has been made permanently illegal, that's how bad this one was, as a result of rising concerns about its safety and new regulations. So the Nestle Magic Ball was a hollow chocolate ball that was filled with a variety of different small toys and prizes inside of the chocolate ball. It was famous for its elements of surprises and was known to be fun so kids would see this chocolate ball on the shelves and it would be like oh there's a free toy inside like a dinosaur or a cute puppy and they'd be like oh i want that and little did they know you know that you can't just eat it all so they would take the whole chocolate ball and they'd throw it in their mouth and there'd be like a plastic little toy inside which you guys already know where this is about to go so the ban of the nestle magic ball primarily stemmed from the concerns regarding the safety of the small toys and trinkets hidden inside of the chocolate so as regulations regarding food safety and choking hazards became Came stricter, it was determined that small toys inside the candy ball possess a potential risk, especially for younger children who may accidentally swallow or choke on them. The production and distribution of Nestle Magic Balls were halted to ensure consumer safety ever since. So these fun little chocolate balls with little toys inside are no longer available on the shelves to this day, um, which is interesting because they're very similar to the Kinder Eggs, and I think that those have been on and off the shelves with a lot of different revised editions since then, but this chocolate ball was never revised or been put back on the shelves ever since so very similar to the kinder egg same sort of thing same sort of issues and safety problems but yeah this one has not been back since and for a good reason so the next band deadly candy we're talking about is toxic waste so here's what it looks like if you guys didn't already make your assumptions about it it's a can that says toxic and it looks like something that shouldn't be consumed it literally says toxic having its britney spears moment so this candy wasn't just hazardly sour. It tasted extremely sour and bitter. It was actually toxic, even though it wrote on the top of it, toxic. So it was being pretty honest when it says toxic waste. I guess you kind of get what you pay for. California's Department of Public Health found 0.2 parts per million of lead in the candies lines, cherry flavor, in 2011 so lead is extremely deadly if you guys did not know that that's literally very very toxic if you consume lead it can kill you so imagine that your favorite candy has lead in it and you're just casually consuming that customers were asked to dispose of any remaining toxic waste bars that they might have been saving for a special occasion and it's interesting because the toxic waste cans the originals were obviously taken off the shelves completely you know demolished but there has been a revised version of this candy and you can could still find them in like Walmart and Target. Like I've been walking around recently and I see toxic waste and I'm like, huh? How is this allowed? So they must have fixed what's inside of there and gotten rid of the lead sense. But before that happened, toxic waste was literally toxic and could kill you. But now apparently they fixed it, which is good. So the next candy actually kind of surprised me and that was Smarties. We've all probably had a Smarties during our time. If you haven't, are you lying? Cause like who hasn't had a Smarties? Personally, I don't really like Smarties. They just kind of taste like chalk to me and I'm not really there for that. But you guys might be wondering how the hell are 
Smarties dangerous? Well, let me explain. So in certain schools, you might notice that there's an absence or bans of candies such as Smarties, which actually, I actually had a ban of Smarties in my elementary school while I was growing up. And I believe in middle school, they did not allow us to have Smarties. And I know exactly why, because everything in this article, I have direct remembrance of in school. Brace yourself because this is kind of disturbing what kids were doing with Smarties. But basically, kids would bring Smarties to their classrooms in school, crush up their Smarties, and snort them through their nostrils. Like as if they were inhaling the Smarties. You can already assume where this was going. And I saw this happen during my school. Kids would be like, oh, you know you can like snort Smarties, right? Like watch. And they would like pound them up and they try to inhale them through their nostrils. I vividly remember this. I used to snort Smarties. You were not that stupid. No, I would. I'd pound it on the table, put it in the line, and go, Woo! Right, Halo? You were one of those stupid kids. I was. And I went to college. And I graduated college. And I'm perfectly fine. They need to unban the candy. Bring back snorting. Okay, okay. You can leave okay. now. He's a bad influence, guys. Don't listen to him. So, not only is that very concerning that people, stupid people, <coughs> my boyfriend and other kids... Yeah. And other kids in school snorted these candies, but they also possessed serious health risks. So just like any other powder inhaled through the nose, snorting Smarties could lead to asthma attacks, long-term respiratory issues, and even the infestation of nasal maggots. Ew! That's disgusting. So if you guys were wondering why your classrooms or schools don't allow Smarties, you don't gotta wonder no more. That's why they got rid of them at my school and probably your school too. Okay, so the next one is very, very bad. Um, I don't think they have these anymore. If they do, it's usually in like the old fashioned candy shops, but that is candy cigars or cigarettes, which are not good. Don't, don't smoke kids. So these were a variety of candies that were designed to resemble the act of smoking traditional cigars. So they were basically like a candy that would come in a box that looked just like a real cigar box that were supposed to appeal to little kids so that they thought they could fit in or that you know that, that it looked cool like they were smoking cigars you can already assume how bad this was promoting the use of cigarettes to kids and everybody by having this little candy that looks like they're smoking already really bad they were a sugar based candy that often compressed sugar or chocolate with inside with a red color tip at the end often resembling a lit up cigarette and they were packaged in boxes and wrappers that resembled cigarette packs so obviously parents were pissed off when they saw these candies at the shelves and they were like oh hell no, I'm not giving that to my kids. I don't want my kids having that. I don't want them to think smoking is cool. So they were banned and taken off the shelves and it's really rare today to see them because why would you want your kids having a candy like that? Like no brainer, like that is bad. Not good. Okay, so we were talking about the Kinders earlier. We're gonna actually cover that right now. It's a very similar situation to the first candy we covered, but Kinder Surprise Eggs. You can already assume where this is gonna go. So Kinder Eggs are, were made by Italian chocolate company Ferrero, and they've been proven to be extremely popular with both kids and adults. However, if you live in the United States, you will have to cross the border for an actual original Kinder Surprise. A 1938 Federal Food Drug and Cosmetic Act state that candy with an embedded toy or trinket can not be sold in the USA, and this act has prohibited the sale of Kinder Eggs in the country. In 2012, two men from Seattle were detained at the border on the way home from Vancouver, and the men had attempted to import six Kinder Eggs into the USA. Imagine getting pulled over at the border trying to come into America, and they're like, yeah, no, you can't cross because you have six chocolate Kinder Eggs. Go back to Canada. Well, that happened. They were held for two and a half hours and told that they could face fines of $2,500 per each Kinder Egg, and they had six so you could do the math there that's a big fine for one little chocolate egg and that is not worth it two children have actually died from choking on kinder eggs which is really sad and that since the chocolate eggs have been on the market since 1974 what's interesting is I think this year I don't know if the law changed and all that because like according to the article that's you know everything that they said at the time but I'm pretty sure that there's been an updated law about small toys instead of candies and I think that if you put it within a plastic thing and have chocolate around the plastic board that there's some sort of way to get around that law or that loophole because Kinder Eggs are back on shelves with a revised safer version and this version does have a plastic part or component around the chocolate so it goes chocolate plastic and then toy inside the plastic which is inside of a package so they made it way safer and if you were to eat that at that point it's on you so as long as the toy's not just loose in chocolate I think it's fine but they were really deadly when they were selling them just with the chocolate and just with the toy so the next one is actually called Chinese hot flakes. I've never heard of them before.
for till today when I was doing research for today's video. So hawflakes are Chinese sweets made from the fruit of Chinese hawthorn. I've never even heard of a hawthorn fruit. I'm very curious as to what that tastes like now because I've never heard of it before. This pale dark pink candy is usually formed into discs two millimeters thick and packaged in cylinder stacks with labeled art resemblant of Chinese fireworks on the candies. This sweet tangy snack is usually served to guests alongside tea or as a treat to children. It is sometimes consumed with bitter Chinese herbal medicine to aid digestion, which is kind of interesting to me that they'd use a candy to aid digestion, but I guess they do. And a recall was actually issued for a batch of Chinese flakes on Tuesday, February 19th, after a consumer said she had bit into a shard of big glass while eating this candy. So apparently that whole batch of candy had big glass pieces inside of it. And could you imagine? Biting into a candy and chewing glass? Oh, Lord have mercy, that would be awful. And since then, they got recalled because people were finding glass bits inside of their Chinese Hawthorne candy, which is terrifying. Anyways, guys, those were all the very controversial Deadly Van candies that you guys probably can't eat anymore and that have been taken off the shelves for a good purpose. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash a like and subscribe to join the Spooky Squad. I post new videos every single week. I don't want you to miss out on it, so be sure to subscribe. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. That would mean a lot to me. And also guys be sure to check my other socials. They are linked down below. I have Instagram. I have TikTok. You guys didn't know so be sure to follow those if you guys want to keep up with me behind the scenes and with my other life stuff that I like to share on Instagram. I love posting behind the scenes there. And it's been Lissy. I will see all of you lovely people in the next video and uh, have a good day guys and uh, be sure to drink water. Stay hydrated. Bye guys! <laughs>